Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a few different ways to style your bangs because I know that sometimes having bangs can be a little bit boring. I hope you like this video and you can use it to change your style a little bit from day to day. Let me show you how. So to start, I'm going to divide my bangs and I'm going to take all the rest of the hair backwards to put it in a ponytail. Every time that we're going to style our bangs and we're going to change the shape, we want to start with our bangs wet. I'm going to go and wet my hair, only my bangs. Okay, so now that the hair is wet how I want it, the first technique is going to be with a blow dryer and with a brush like this one. So before it starts to dry, you want to start brushing your hair to each side, blowing the air down until it's completely dry, and that way it's going to dry in a natural way without any parting. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the long pieces, the sides, and we're going to brush them this way. We're going to put the brush behind, and we're going to brush them like this. Just a few times, you don't need a lot. This is going to give us straight hair, but with a little bit of a wave, that way it's not very, very straight. And I'm going to do the same in the other side. Every hair is different. Mine, for example, is not straight. So I do have a little bit of a wave going on here. And ideally, that won't happen. Like once you're blow drying your hair, with the brush like this, it's going to get as straight as possible. But if yours isn't, like mine, take part of the long pieces and I'm going to round brush it the same way. But this time we're going to take the short pieces. So that was half of it and I'm going to do the other half, but the other half I'm still going to take part of those pieces that I did in the other side. And then I go back to the first movement. And then with the warm brush, so without the blow dryer, I'm going to do like this and brush down. Because I want to have a little bit of lift and I don't want the hair to go too, too straight down. And this is going to leave you with straight bangs. And you can use this with straight hair, with wavy hair, however you want. I'm going to use this as my base for the other styles. Of course, you can add product and like play with your fingers. You can part this in the middle, you can part this in the side, however you want. This is a very simple but great way to wear your bangs. Okay, so moving on for the second technique. This time we're going to use a hair straightener. So here's the thing. If you have straight hair, you can do this from the start. If you don't have straight hair, I really recommend that you start blow drying your bangs before, like the way that we did before. You go with the straightener. Of course, of course, before using this, your hair cannot be wet, it has to be dry. But blow drying it first from wet to dry is going to erase any kind of shape that it has and allow you to give that shape. Of course, you can go ahead and try to do it without doing this, see how it goes and it, if it works for you and your hair. But my recommendation is that you do this first. Okay, so I'm going to divide my hair so it's not in the way. And we're going to start working with very small pieces. We're going to do a side part here and we're going to start curling the pieces inside. I'm going to show you how. So you want to pull it until it's a little bit cold. And I'm going to keep doing the same thing at least until I'm about here. And always taking very small pieces. Now that I am all the way here, this extra hair, I'm going to do it. It's basically the same side, but I'm going to divide it. And this side ends up being outside and this one inside. Does that make sense? I know this looks crazy. I'm going to take a little uh, comb and I'm going to start brushing the hair. I like to put my fingers on top. That way I make the hair stay where I brush it. So I'm going to take these long pieces around here and I'm going to curl them outside of my face. That way 
they go flat. Like that. And see how they're not poking out anymore? Of course, this always looks better with product, and but you can give texture with your fingers. And I really love this style. I think it's like a messy fringe and I love that. Especially if you're wearing a little bit wavy, a little bit more wavy than this. And you can just blend it in with your hair and it looks very natural, like a natural texture. And I really like that. This is how it looks with all of the hair up. And that is it for this style. And this last style is going to be for the people that has curly hair or wavy hair or something like this and they don't have a blow dryer because there's a lot of people asking me, okay, how do I style my bangs if I don't have a blow dryer? So I'm going to try to do it just with a straightener starting from here, but I don't promise anything. I'm going to start thinking kind of like the same way as we did the first one with the blow dryer and I'm going to start working with the long sections and then I go to the short ones. Never go straight down with the straightener because it's going to be too straight. So you always want to give a little bit of a, a wave, like bend it a little bit. Can you see how I basically use my head as a guide? So I'm going to bend it, but I'm not going to bend it 90 degrees. I'm going to bend it just like comb in the head. So this is done. Now next section. And finally, this next one, we're going to do it downwards, but think about doing the same thing. So we're going to go with the shape of the head, not straight, just like a little bend, but don't put it in your forehead because you're going to burn yourself. Forward, but don't put it in your forehead. And as always, you want to use your fingers to mold and style your bangs. You can add dry shampoo, texturizing spray, whatever you want. And you can see it's not the same thing, but it's pretty similar. And of course, this is not going to be exactly the same if your natural hair is curly, but it's probably the closest thing I can do to show you how to do it with a flat iron instead of a blow dryer. Well, that's all. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this video is very useful for you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!